Hi everyone, welcome to the Alchemy Scope. So this has been wanting to come forward for quite a while, but here we are at the very end of 2014 and it couldn't wait any longer. It, it was really calling to come forward. So there was one intention when this came to me months ago, there was one intention of bringing forward this particular new moon Alchemy Scope for the signs which is to provide you tools and information that will help support your journey of your soul's maturation and evolution process that's underway. Because it is underway rapidly and um, we're needing as much uh, support as we can get. So this is intended to support your journey wholly. So there are six components to every new moon alchemy scope that's going to be coming out. One is uh, the symbology. We're going to look on the macrocosmic scale, on a general scale for the collective, what, what symbology is imbued at the degree point for the new moon that's informing this next 30-day cycle. Then on the microcosmic scale, I'm going to throw the I Ching for you, and we're going to look at your particular theme that's going to be playing out, and what's going to be being called forward within you to grow and mature. And then I'm going to do a spread. I'm either going to use the Brawl to Lay deck or I'm going to use a deck of 144 card deck that I created called, I call it the Siri deck. So I'm going to either use the Brawl to Lay or the Siri deck to pull uh, some information about um, an event or situation that might emerge for you this month that will that your soul has called forward for you to grow and mature through. And then um, we're going to look at the archetypes. I'm going to pull from the Carolyn Miss archetype deck and we're going to find out which archetype, which archetypal qualities are wanting to uh, come through you, evolve through you this month, um, mature essentially. And then we're going to pull an Ascended Masters card for support from Doreen Virtue's deck. And finally, I'm going to provide you um, a Dakini uh, from Penny Slinger's 64 Dakini Oracle. And um, they're quite powerful and there's a lot of information. So I'm going to provide a link at the end of the video where you can go and access the information because it's something you want to sit and read with. Um, excuse me, you want to read through and then you want to work with because uh, there are affirmations and rituals and stuff that Penny recommends. And I find them quite powerful. This is goddess energy. This is uh, archetypal energy. This is themed energy. So the Dakini will provide you um, a theme to dive into in the coming 30 days that will serve your growth. Okay? So let's get started on the individual signs. So let's talk about the macrocosmic cycle that's unfolding with this new moon. The Sabian symbol that's imbued at zero degrees Sagittarius, which is the new moon point happening on November 22nd and informing our next 30-day cycle, is Retired Army veterans gather to reawaken old memories. Now, this is an important period of time that we're walking through right now. This particular new moon is the second of three consecutive new moons happening at the zero degree point. October 23rd had it at zero degrees Scorpio. Next month, we have it at zero degrees Capricorn on December 22nd. So we're in the middle of a portal time frame right now that is quite powerful. Zero is the alpha and the omega. Zero is beginnings and endings. Zero is potentiality. It is your pure empowerment. So this is a big, big time. It's the, uh, it's no number, yet it is the container for all. It is the fool in the tarot. This is pure potentiality. This is activation of your truest, highest self. This is about activating and actualizing your soul print, everyone. So this new moon is fascinating because it is happening in Sagittarius. Sagittarius represents 
higher mind, optimism, journeying forward, freedom, um, expansion, adventure. And the fact that the symbol that's imbued with this new moon is about, um, you know, coming together post-war. <laughs> and a lot of us have been through a lot of difficulties over the course of the last year or many years recently as systems start collapsing and we're really being called to become our full and whole selves we're being called to really look back and see what has worked what hasn't worked um, what has served us what do we want to rebuild anew what do we need to let go of so at this new moon it's the um the duality of both and where we're looking forward yet we're having to look back. So that's pretty powerful stuff. And for me, that's about extracting what it is that worked, letting go what didn't, and moving forward into the new self, the new whole self. So this is really a beautiful time. So let's go into each sign and look at what your, what event or situation might be influencing you this month. So Cancer, let's take a look at the I Ching and your micro cycle, the theme that will be unfolding for you or what might be unfolding for you in the month of December. So I went ahead and threw the I Ching in a, pri in a separate ritual off camera for you and for all the signs. It's a bit time consuming to throw the coins and to um, calculate the hexagram, the two trigrams that create the hexagram that comes up for you. It might be in a future episode of the Alchemy Scopes that I'll do it on camera, but for this month I did it off camera. You received 16 enthusiasm. Now what I want to tell you is I'm using the visionary I Ching. It was developed by Paul O'Brien, but he utilizes the original I Ching system. So this is ancient. It's just the language that he's applied to the interpretations is more resonant with modern day. So let me read to you what you received, which is fantastic. 16 enthusiasm. Enormous creative energy is unleashed by enthusiasm. This energy is like powerful music that inspires great numbers of people, loosening old constraints and generating new opportunities. Indeed, the power of enthusiasm is best symbolized by music and dance, for it is guided more by the heart than the head. Thus, great good fortune can follow when the leader of an enthusiastic group is a person of strong character, one able to guide this positive force toward a fav favorable destination. Enthusiasm, whether in a relationship or a group, generates a special kind of electricity. When a concert crowd is charged up, the singer scales new heights and life becomes its own reward. For who is not in awe of thunder? And I'll explain what that means in a second. And who would fail to fill his or her lungs in the aftermath of a cleansing rain? Arouse the passionate support of others while adjusting your ideas and plans to suit their needs. In this way, you can fill your sails with the mighty wind of popular support. To arouse others, redouble your own dedication and dare to create an environment that is free of tension. Take joy in your work. Harness the power of song and dance. So there is the reference to thunder because the two trigrams which make up the hexagram which becomes number 16, enthusiasm, is thunder above, earth below. So those are the two elements that came together to create this particular form and these particular qualities. So this is fantastic. Hi Cancer. So I just went ahead and shuffled my Siri deck. This is a 144 card deck that I created for myself several years ago. We'll go ahead and pull the spread now. I'm pulling what's called a synchronic spread. This was a system developed by a woman by the name of Shama Viola. It was a friend of mine and she created a, a divination deck called the Brawl to Lay, which is a fabulous deck, which is another one that I use and I'll use it on these uh, videos at some point as well. Okay, 
So let's see what's coming up. I'll explain a little bit about where what these positions are too, and I'll show you some of the cards, probably not all of them, but you can you can kind of see them a little bit. Uh, so from a spiritual angle, from the physical or material real world angle, emotional angle, from the thoughts or mental angle, and the center message from the spread. So the situation or event that might be emerging for you in the month of December is going to be either about um, returning to a previous state of being, or it's going to be about returning to um, a place, an actual literal place. So um, let's see if you, yeah, there you go. So, and this is you. <laughs> this is you. So you're gonna you're gonna have something come up regarding. Um, returning to a previous state of being or returning to a previous place, location. And this is a lesson. You're, you're very specifically going to be tested about in, with regards to your future. So you're, you're going to have thoughts persisting regarding your future. So um, there might be this, the, this event or this circumstance or these thoughts that are coming up about revisiting might be um, specifically, you're looking at memories, which by the way, remember our veterans reawakening old memories symbol for this moon. So this is quite apropos and beautiful that you're indeed potentially thinking about old things that worked or what didn't work as you're persisting to think about your future, which is the Sagittarius placement of this new moon. So it's quite appropriate actually. Um, there's going to be something about how you express yourself, um, and in the, and the home. So it's how you express yourself in or around the home. And it might be within the home, like your family members, or it could be the physical place of your home. So it could be that you're thinking about other places to live thinking about places that you've been to that you love that you'd like to maybe go back to and retire there, for example. Um, and there's a lot of emotional discernment going on. So you're, you're considering options. You're going to be thinking through various options and ideas for future. This is the, and I think I showed this to you, this is future. This is the future card. So, and this is about a lesson. So there's something you're going to be deeply considering options that will impact your future this month. This will be something that will come up for you. Hi, Cancer. So let's look at the archetype that wants to uh, grow, evolve, mature through you this month. The great thing about these cards, this is the Carolyn Miss archetype card deck. The great thing about these cards is that it doesn't just show the quality set of the archetype. It doesn't just show, you know, what it is, the kind of the evolutionary trajectory of, oh, we just had one fly out. I love that. So here's yours, and it's a good one too. So let me finish saying what I was telling you. So she talks about, she brings forward in the archetype cards the higher frequency vibrations of the archetype and the lower frequency. It's the polarity points of the same thing, two sides of the coin. So we each hold all of it. We hold lower frequency vibrations and the higher of every archetype that we embody. Now, this is the one that wants to come through you this month. This is the one that wants to evolve and grow and be seen, be activated this month, shapeshifter. So let me read it to you here. Uh, the light attribute. So this is the higher frequency vibrations of shapeshifter. Skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness. Ability, excuse me, ability to see potential in everything. So this is about becoming the alchemist. This is about becoming the magician. This is about seeing potential in everything. Nothing is what it seems. This is about, um, I love this, navigating through different levels of consciousness. Use your dreams this month. Um, tap into lucid dreaming. Um, 
you know, even in your waking state, there are various states of consciousness. So this is about really tapping in to your deeper self, to your multi-level self and uh, evolving that. Now the shadow attributes of shapeshifter are projecting any image that serves your personal agenda in the moment. Projecting any image that serves your personal agenda in the moment. So this is about not being truthful or aligned with um, your perspective or the images that you hold to be your truth, applying them to other people. That's, that's what I take from this card. So it's about being honest and aligned. It's about being in integrity. So that's quite beautiful. So let's look at Doreen Virtue's Ascended uh, Masters deck. Um, I love this deck. This, she has many decks of cards. The Ascended Masters is one of my favorite of hers. Um, and we'll see which Ascended Master has uh, a message of support for you or a special message that will um, get you through this month with some ease for cancer. Which Ascended Master wants to come? Ooh, lovely. So you get a peace offering, white buffalo calf woman. And let me read this to you. Sorry, it's a little reflective there. There we go. Cool. Okay. Let me read this to you from the book. Okay. So Doreen writes, this card heralds the resolution of an argument or misunderstanding. Those involved in the situation are ready to forgive and forget. Be open to seeing the other person's point of view to soften any hard feelings. As you allow compassion into the situation, love's healing power ensures that everyone's need are met, everyone's needs are met harmoniously. Leave the details about how the situation will be resolved to the infinite wisdom of spirit. That's wonderful. So there's going to be some resolution that will unfold or there's a potential for it to unfold. So when you know that those energies or that support, that spiritual support is activated for you, then you can keep your eyes open for it and act accordingly and take advantage of it. That's about utilizing the energies of the cycle. Okay, let's see what's next for you. So the final component cancer for your alchemy scope for December 2014 is your Dakini. This Dakini is coming forward for you to heed the general messages, to heed the qualities that are being expressed through this Dakini. And this Dakini lives within you in some form or another. So she is asking you to attend to her this month. So you received 32 Liquida. Let me read a little bit here to give you a taste, and then there's a link below so you can read the rest of the information written so beautifully by Penny Slinger. So, Liquida. She is the pure quality of the water element. There are four elemental Dakinis in the Pantheon. This is Penny's referring to the 64 Dakini Oracle Pantheon. Liquida is the water Dakini, holding the portal of the East. One of the more elusive Dakinis of the Oracle, Liquida slips in and out of form. She is H2O in its liquid form. She embodies the liquid state in general. 70% of the planet's surface is covered in water, and about the same percentage constitutes our bodies. All known animate life needs water to survive. Liquida is the water in our bodies, the water we drink, the waters which nourish and sustain life on Earth. The living organism that is our planet always maintains the same amount of water. It cycles through all the plant planets, life systems, evaporating and condensing, constantly mutating and always maintaining. So that gives you a flavor of who Liquida is. The link is below to access the rest of the information. Before I go, I just want to say I want to alert you to the fact that you did in fact get the shape-shifting card, the archetype card for this month. Liquida is a shapeshifter. So these messages are very strongly coming forward for you to heed 
And this will mean different things to different people. This is a general reading for Cancer. But there's no accident why both of these are coming through. So what a beautiful month, Cancer. What a beautiful month December will be. It might be a powerful month. You're going to be activating some latent power, I have a feeling. So I wish you just a wonderful um, December. And I look forward to talking to you again next month. And a final note, uh, the products that I offer, the archetypal profile, the symbolic profile, holistic sessions, that all help people get clear on the archetypes, the symbols, and the, the general evolutionary trajectory their soul is encoded with, all of those services are available via gift certificate. So if you have family members or friends who you would love to give the gift of clarity this year to, I have um, wonderful, easy gift certificates that um, can provide some not only fun, but wonderful and kind of deep and meaningful gifts. So I invite you to go to the website and take a look. Links are below and um, contact me with if, you know, if should you have any questions whatsoever, if you need clarity on what any of these items are. But uh, archetypal profile, symbolic profile, the combination of both and the holistic sessions are wonderful offerings to help people really see various aspects of themselves very clearly. And this is just such a beautiful time to do that. All right. Happy holidays, everybody.